Hello and welcome everybody, I am the IT guy and in this video we're going to see how to set up Tails with persistent storage on KVM as a virtual machine. So first of all we're going to go over to the Tails website, so that's tail.boob.org and this will take us to the Tails website. We're going to click on get Tails and we're going to click on get uh, it for USB sticks only. We're going to download over here. And then the download will start, but I already have the image, so I'm going to cancel right now. So you'll need to remember where you stored that file. So we'll go over to our terminal now. And we're going to go over to the location where the file is uh, located. And I happen to know that I stored mine on the desktop. So for me, that would be CD. You can do the tilt key or you can type the path complete. So you can do like home Herbert slash desktop. And that would take me to the desktop and I would see over here I have uh, this file so tails-amd64 is on my desktop. So what I want to do right now is I want to truncate and truncate is a command that will make the file bigger. So by default the size of the file is only one gig or something like that and we need to make it bigger because otherwise it cannot be used as a quote-unquote USB stick because we're going to tell the virtual machine that this is quote-unquote a USB stick. So we're going to do minus S and then we're going to specify the size and we want about maybe about 16 uh, gigabytes. So we're going to specify about 16,000 megabytes. And you'll need to make sure that you don't forget the M at the end because otherwise the file will become uh, corrupt. And then we're going to we're going to specify the image file. So this will be tails dash AMD, uh, whatever version you're working on. So just press enter. Now let's exit out of here. And now let's uh, go over to uh, KVM and start setting up the virtual machine. So now I have opened up the vert manager, so the virtual machine manager. Let's quickly create a new virtual machine and let's choose this option over here, import existing disk image. So we're going to choose this one. Let's forward, provide the ex existing storage path. We're going to browse. We're going to go browse local. And then we're going to go over to our folder where we stored that image file. And as you can see, it has grown in size. It's about 16 gigabytes large now. So we're going to select this one. I'm going to click open. And then we're going to say that the operating system is Debian 9. This is also very important because it has to know this. So we're going to choose Debian 9. I'm going to click forward. And then we're going to provide uh, somewhat of uh, 2 gigs of memory um, Tails is not that uh, heavy of an operating system, but we want to have some headspace. I'm going to click forward. Then we're going to click customize configuration before install. Let's hit finish. Let's go over to our uh, vert IO disk over here. Let's click advanced options. And then the disk bus has to be USB. Let's click apply. Then we're going to click that it's removable as well. We're going to click apply again. And then we're going to click on begin installation. And this should immediately uh, bring up the operating system. So now let's click Start Tails. So it's going to give us a warning that there's a virtual machine detected and it tells us to only use free software. We are using Linux, so that's free software. And KVM is also free software. So we're going to go over to Applications. Then we're going to go over to System Tools. We're going to click Configure Persistent Volume. Now we're going to provide a password. We're going to click create. And now we're going to choose which which uh, data it wants to keep. So we're going to choose, for example, personal data. And let's also keep our browser bookmarks. But you can do a lot of stuff over here. You can also keep your Thunderbird file, stuff like that. So now let's just click save. Now let's close up and let's restart Tails. So when we start Tails up again, we'll be asked for our password over here. So we'll just enter the password that we previously configured. So let's click Unlock. Let's click Start Tails. So again, this message pops up. We can close that up here. And now let's go into Places and we'll see that this map has been added Persistent. So don't go putting things in here. You need to put in Persistent. And right over here, we can add like folders. We can create a new folder and we'll name this 
uh, stay here. So it will stay here. I will close that up. Let's restart our computer now and let's see if that file of uh, that folder is still over there. So let's enter our password again. Again, the same thing. Unlock it. Let's click start tails again. Close that message. Let's go into places. Let's go to persistent again. And as you can see, the folder is still there. So we have a folder where everything that we selected during the setup process. So again, you can choose that in, in the beginning. So if you want to edit something, uh, you'll have to go over to configure persistent volume. And then you can actually uh, enable other things as well. So you can click Thunderbird. You can click your Bitcoin, Bitcoin client or you can go ahead and save that. And uh, once you have added it, you'll need to restart again and then it will be applied. So you'll need to keep that in mind. So this was just a quick overview of how to set up tails on KVM using persistent storage. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.